Here we are in PowerPoint. Let's walk through how to insert a guide in Excel based on the size of a shape in PowerPoint. And then we'll also walk through how to do the same thing for Microsoft Word. Start by inserting a shape. We can do that from our Macabacus library. Go into library, then shapes, and then we can right click the shape here, press insert, then it will insert a shape and we can resize this to our targeted dimensions and make sure the shape is selected. Then go back to Microsoft Excel. Here we are in Excel, our worksheet from the last video. Then just go up to Guides and press PowerPoint Selection. Now a guide will be set based on the exact dimensions that we had from the selected shape in PowerPoint. So that's a super quick way to set a guide. If say you're preparing data, for a presentation and you need the cells to reflect a certain sizing. So we can clear that guide. Now let's walk through how to do the same thing for Microsoft Word. Here we are in Word. We can insert a shape using the Macabacus library. We can just go to boxes and highlights. We can go with the same highlight shape. Then we can make it nice and tall and wide. Make sure it's selected. Then go back to Excel, go up to guides, and press Word Selection. Now that shape we had selected in Word has been inserted into the Excel file. And we can clear that out. An alternative way would be to go up in your Macabacus settings and under Standard Sizes, you could actually set a standard size based on a PowerPoint or Word selection. Select the shape in PowerPoint or Word, then hit any of these buttons, or you could even do it based on an Excel selection, and then you can resize any of your standard sizes, and then you could go up into Guides and then select that standard size to apply. That's an alternative way of doing it. Of course, the native Excel way to do all of this is to just go into Insert, Insert a Shape under Shapes, and then you'd have to make it transparent and red, and then manually set it, and you would have to hope that it matches the dimensions of your PowerPoint or Word shape, which would be difficult and if not impossible to get to the correct targeted dimensions. So Macabacus is just a superior way of going about this. It will help you size your workbooks in a manner that makes them easy to translate over to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.